All right, everyone, it's, um, I don't even know what time it is anymore, but uh, we're Wednesday afternoon. Uh, I'm in the standing together truck right now. We're out to bring a family out to soldiers in the Hebron area. And on our way over, I got a call. There was a terrorist attack at the Gush Etzion Junction. A female terrorist, a female terrorist rammed her car into the bus stop. Uh, thank God, miraculously, I would say, thank God no one is injured, and the soldiers acted quickly and took out the uh, terrorist who attempted to ram and kill uh, people waiting at the bus stop. So as far as I know, and this is confirmed, there are no injured in terms of Jews here. Um, the only report was someone lightly injured from shock but there are no injured Jews in the area and the soldiers, due to their swift reaction, uh, took out and killed the terrorist again. Just to give you the information, for those who just signed in, uh, I am here in the Standing Together truck. We are on our way to the area in Hebron to give out some uh, uh, treats to soldiers. And on the way over, we received a call from the army that there was an attempted or a terrorist attack at the Tzomot Etzion uh, Junction. A female terrorist, again, just to give you the information, uh, rammed her car into the local bus stop with her people standing there. Thank God nobody was injured. The only report is someone lightly injured out of shock. Nobody is physically injured. And the swift and quick uh, reaction from our soldiers, from the IDF soldiers, the heroes who are standing here on guard 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, their quick reaction they took out the terrorist, meaning she is terminated dead. Um, and again, there are no, thank God, injured uh, Jews at the bus stop. Uh, this junction, for those of you who don't know, I'm going to give a little background on this junction. I live here in Efrat, literally four minutes away. Um, this junction here um, has been the site of several terrorist attacks over the last couple of years. Uh, of several ramming attacks, shooting attacks, of course, the most famous of them and the unfortunate of them were three years ago when three young boys uh, were kidnapped off this junction, exactly driven into an Arab village in Hebron and uh, buried there, which was the, um, we then arrested Hamas terrorists who were responsible for that. And of course, you know that this was connected up to the war that happened in Gaza around three years ago. Um, and we've seen several ramming attacks here, shooting attacks, stabbing attacks. It's been quite over the last uh, year or so, or a couple of months, or half a year or so. But um, as uh, people who live here know, silence and quiet is generally not something that means that everything will be okay, but rather it's just the um, quiet before the storm. Uh, again, those of you listening in, um, those of you just signed in, a terrorist attack at the Summer Douglas Junction. I am right now. I will turn the camera around. There is, I'm literally 120 yards away from where this happened. Um, we are we are on our way to a base in Gush Etzion, in, in the Hebron area. You know, the day after a perm, everybody brought Mishlach Manot on perm, which was wonderful. We want to make sure that the soldiers know that even after perm, they have supports. We are on our way over to the Hebron area here, and we got reports right off the security phones and off the IDF phones that there was an attack here. A female terrorist rammed her car into the bus stop where people were waiting for um, four rides. Thank God nobody was injured. There were reports of one person lightly injured, but out of shock, uh, nobody was injured in this attack. And the soldiers, quick reactions, terminated the, uh, the terrorists, the female terrorists, pretty much tried to ram her car into um, random and innocent people who are standing here waiting for a, a bus ride. What I'm doing is I'm cutting through, I'm making, a, I'm cutting through a shortcut here to try to make it to the junction. I'm driving the standing together truck. So it's a little bit hard to maneuver around here, but as soon as I get to the junction, I will park and then continue this broadcast live. Um, my phone, I'm just gonna turn the phone around a little bit right here so you can see what's going on. There's traffic on the road right here, and um, I'm literally 100 yards away, so give me two minutes and I will, uh, 
uh, go live from the area. If I could just park, find a place to park the truck. We're obviously not going to make it to the soldiers right now, at least not now. Maybe we'll do it after the place is cleared. But again, the final report is that one Islamic terrorist female is dead, terminated. Thank God our soldiers acted swiftly with amazing accuracy. You have to understand that there are people there, 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 this place is packed with civilians. So the fact that soldiers can open fire and take out only the uh, terrorists is simply unbelievable. Um, and so the terrorist is dead. I'm turning the phone out and I'm getting out of the car right now because we do have live footage from here. So give me a second, people. I will be right back. Hold on, don't go anywhere. We are right here at its own, its own junction. Uh, the terrorist attack literally happened right here. We're talking, I'm gonna get as close as I can to the area. This is the uh, car. Right there is the car, the brand is the bus stop. So try to make it a He's causing trouble in the area. Again, let me just show you. I'm going to cross the street right now and uh, try to get to the car over there. We're at the some of the Gush Etzion Junction and the place is packed with soldiers. You are looking. You know that. You know that. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, is a major junction and this is exactly where people are waiting for the bus stops. The bus is going wherever they're going. And what you just saw over there that I took a photo of was the actual car of an Arab terrorist who rammed into pedestrians, random pedestrians, thank God nobody was injured. One report of one person lightly injured from shock. Otherwise, the only person, I wouldn't even call it a person, the only uh, result of this issue is the terrorist uh, herself who was uh, taken out by soldiers here. Um, as you can see, the car is not an old beat up car. We're talking about a modern, you know, fancy car. But again, just you know, give you a little bit of a, uh, a peek into whether we're talking about four victims of occupation. I'm not showing you some pictures of uh, commanders here. There's the, the head commander here from the Khat. He is the um, literally the one in charge, and I'm not going to show his face at all. But uh, I saw the car that was right there. 
This was a terrorist attack carried out by the Islamic terrorist, a female this time. And thank God the results here were literally thank God, but no injury, you know injuries here sustained by anyone who's standing by the bus stop. The only injury that happened here was the terrorist herself who was taken out by the soldiers. Mary, this will stop when uh, either our enemies stop worshipping death or when Israel starts taking them seriously and fights them instead of start, stop making these ridiculous games of peace. That's when this will stop. Then you are watching live from the summit it's on the junction where just 25 minutes ago there was a terrorist ramming terrorist attack here. A, those of you signing in, thank God this terrorist attack was Unsuccessful, thank God. The only person herself. Taken out, terminated by the soldiers who are here, by their fast reaction. Okay. That's the car right there. Completely going in the wrong direction. Again, I'll just repeat myself for those of you who are uh, tuning in right now. We are live from the Tzomot Junction in Gush Etzion, in Judah, in Judea. This junction, just to let all you know, you see over there is a huge shopping center and everybody shops there. Jews, Arabs, Muslims, everybody shops there. This is an area where all people, Israeli or not, can live their lives and a Muslim woman around 35 minutes ago. I'm trying to get a clear picture of the car. There it is. That's the car right there. Standing in the wrong direction, of course. Rammed her car into uh, pedestrians here. And thank God was unsuccessful in her attempt to murder Jews. The only person taken out here was the terrorist herself. That was taken out due to the swift action of idea of soldiers. Then we got the Hakka. Junction. Here we have a Palestinian police car. 
taking pictures. That's the Palestinian police right there. Right there. You should have read uh, Life in Front of the That's Palestinian police. The biggest crooks, the biggest mafia in the area, the biggest terrorists around the area. They're not taking pictures or anything else except to celebrate. In any case, uh, for those of you tuning in, around half an hour ago now, there was a ramming terrorist attack right here. A female Islamic terrorist attempt to ram her car into civilians here and she was unsuccessful both because of the powder that the um the bulls are here to stop exactly this kind of attack here's the car right there uh, and then due to the quick reaction of soldiers uh who took out the terrorist uh, she did not survive her own attack thank god there are no injuries here uh, her attack fell, but the only injury that's been reported is lightly injured is someone who's in shock. Otherwise, the only person, the only thing, the only person, the only being that was injured here, taken out, was actually the terrorist herself. Sharon Yaniv, so again, for those of you tuning in right now, what uh, happened here, it's around a half an hour ago, a Muslim terrorist, a woman rammed her car into the bus stop here where people are waiting to get back home and she was number one unsuccessful in injuring anyone and the swift action of the idea of soldiers took her out terminated her before any other done. and so what we have here is they got no injured from any of the Jews who were waiting here by the bus stop. Again, the only one sustaining injuries was the terrorist herself. You can see the car is actually pointed in the wrong direction. Hey, that might be the So they're trying not to let people get close to the car. Sorry about the uh, lack of... Traffic is coming from my left and going straight down, and this car is actually facing the wrong way. She made a circular motion and ran and jammed um, right into the pedestrians here. You can see those yellow poles that were put up by security forces here already months ago that stopped her car. And then the quick. Uh, <laughs> quick reaction of the soldiers took out the terrorists and thank God the result is there are no there are no there are no injured Jews here or any of the innocent people are standing by the and the terrorist was terminated by the quick action and reaction of I I'm <laughs> <laughs> That is the you claim that this was an accident, just bad driving. The car is completely facing the wrong way. The terrorist made almost a into the pedestrians here.
Alright, we're gonna go again. Thank God this ended well. For those of you signing in right now, I'm just gonna give you a, a review of what happened here. A female Muslim terrorist rammed her car into pedestrians who were waiting at the bus stop here. Uh, thank God. You see those those yellow poles right there? Those were security forces put up months ago. Those, those yellow poles were, were, were pretty exactly to stop this kind of attack. Uh, the woman rammed her car and missed any pedestrians who were standing outside those poles. And the quick reaction of IDF soldiers terminated this terrorist and took her out completely dead. Uh, no civilians or Jews were hurt in this attack. I can only say thank God for that. And we really, really do owe our thanks and appreciation to the brave men and women of the IDF who are on duty here 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And because of the quick reaction, this terrorist was not able to do anything further than the innocent people here. So again, again, we want to say thank you to IDF soldiers uh, for their, to call it, bravery and loyalty to the job. Uh, their quick reaction, their quick action to make sure nothing else happens here. Um, again, we're at the summit of this junction. Just understand this junction is a place where all people, um, Israelis and not, they shop here and they eat here. Nobody should give you any kind of stories about uh, occupation or about, you know, all kinds of junk. This is a junction which actually is open to everybody. And uh, the Arabs, non-Israeli Arabs shop here, the Jews shop here, Christians shop here, everybody shops here. There are no checkpoints, there are no roadblocks. This is an act of hate. This is an act of pure Islamic terrorism. And any other tune that anybody plays talking about a two-state solution or any kind of stupidity like that is blatant immorality. It's wrong. It's actually allowing people look, look, here's a Palestinian car right there. Arabs, white lights in place. These are all Arabs. The green one is all. Okay, so no one should give you the story that they don't have freedom of the, of movement here or any kind of other garbage. This is pure hatred. This is what we call radical Islamic terrorism. This is terrorism that's based on a genocidal religious belief. It has nothing to do with land. It has nothing to do with freedom. Okay, it's all garbage. Truck after truck, bus after bus. Non-Israelis, they're free here. There's absolutely no checkpoints. It is unbelievable how the world, the world justifies such actions with all kinds of stories and games. Here we have the Red Crescent who, uh, not once and not twice has been caught actually aiding and abetting the terrorists. In any case, the terrorist has been taken out. And again, there it is. We're literally on our way to a base right now. The soldier, we're going to see if we can still get there in the Chevron area. I'll just let you go. Uh, I want to say before I, I, I leave, we just launched the Pesach campaign where we are delivering uh, hundreds of packages, boxes filled with real meal food for families of soldiers who are in financial uh they need financial help and uh we are delivering those packages for pesach we will not put our name on it at all we're not going to tell the soldiers we're going to embarrass them but i will put the link down here in a second so if you want to get involved 